How do you spot a tourist in a shop in the United States? It's easy. You'll find them peering at the banknotes, wondering what the heck they are. For a start, they're all the same colour, a greyish green, and they're all exactly the same size. And it's just the same when you attempt to recognise cars. A Brit who comes here for the first time gets mightily disorientated. Someone who prides himself on differentiating on an XR3i from a Vectra at 400 paces will find himself surrounded by a sea of weird styling cues and badges. It's like being in a curious parallel universe where not everything is as it seems. So let Bonnets and Hoods now present the easy bluffer's guide to the most common cars on North American roads. The Ford Taurus, bold, ovoid styling, giving it the look of a motorised jelly bean. Along with a futuristic dash, the Taurus can be compared to our old Ford Scorpio in terms of size and target appeal. The Honda Civic, you see them all over the States where they're manufactured, as well as in the UK and Japan. The American assembled two-door coupe features big, bug-eyed headlamps. And this is one fairly common American car that still turns American heads. And mine, because I bought this one. This is the Ford Mustang, now in its 36th successful year. In fact, this is the 35th anniversary special edition. And what you're buying here is sky-high image for fairly low cost. The basic V8 coupe will set you back as little as around £12,000. The Dodge Caravan, we know it as the Chrysler Voyager. And like the European version, it has short and long wheelbase versions and a huge interior. Now, they don't call them MPVs over here. Ask for minivans at your Dodge dealer. The Ford Ranger pickup, made in Thailand, a more affordable version of the big brother, the Ford F-Series pickup. Now, you see them everywhere here in the States. You can't believe how many of these things they've sold. They really love their pickups, and particularly this one, the F. Here's an interesting sign you won't see in the UK. Saturn. We all know it's the fifth planet in the solar system. But in the United States, it's also the make of a series of cars. The Toyota Camry hasn't really taken off in the UK, but they go bananas for them over here. Now into its fourth generation, the Camry is seen as an affordable executive car, a bit like our Vauxhall Amiga. You still see loads of Chevrolet Cavaliers around. It was introduced in 1981 as a front-drive four-passenger car. This is the Pontiac Grand Am. Coupes and sedans that project quite a sporty image and compact enough also to be called European. The Ford Mondeo? No, here it's called the Contour. Strange that a world car has a different name over here. Different price as well, of course, far lower. But that's another story.